guys, it's Donna Lay, and I've been getting some emails from people who are anxious to start a nine card spread. And by anxious, I mean nervous. <laughs> it's the first kind of almost intimidating step for some people to get into one of the larger spreads where there are more than one side-by-side -side card interaction, and it can seem very intimidating. So let's do this together. We'll start with baby steps, and I want you to have a successful experience with your first nine card spread. There are a lot of fancy things you can do with it. We're not going to do all those fancy things today. I'm going to be using an absolutely gorgeous deck called the Alone's Vision Lenormand. This is made by Willis Seabriggs. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got nice big imagery, perfect for a video. So we'll be using that together. So take your 36 cards and give them a good shuffle. When you do a nine card spread, it naturally uh, comes down with a center card. So you've got a cross around it, and the way people put that cross down is different. And the way people put a nine card down is different. I don't want you to fret about how to put the cards down. What we want to focus on for you is how to read the cards. Okay, you can get your own system down, but let's talk about reading the cards. So anytime you do a nine card spread, there is a center card. Some people like to deliberately put a significator card there. For example, if it's a man quarant, they'll put the man in the middle, and then they'll put the other cards around it, and those will be more random. If it's a love reading, they may put the heart down. If it's a job reading, they may put one of the job cards down. If it's a woman, we'll put the woman now, down. Before you tackle a nine card spread, you should be very familiar and have done quite a lot of practice with three card spreads boom 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 that's it every day do a little three card draw and when you do your three card draws you can check my previous videos it explains how with the first card kind of carries the most weight and the other two kind of talk about what happens to the first card so let's do this I'm going to put this down for now I'm going to keep the man in the middle so you can see how it works with a significator but later on if when you, you do want, your own nine card readings start if you want with the significator cards but eventually get a little experimental and let the random cards come up in the center instead of the deliberate ones and it'll give you a little bit more opportunity to see how cards engage with each other for the purpose of this I'm going to leave this card in the middle of the man card and we're going to assume that a woman is sitting with us asking a question about a um, relationship she's in so she's coming man. to your table with a question and you'll be doing this nine card reading and I suggest you try these on your own so when we turn these over You're going to make sure any upside down cards are right it up the right way. There's our cross in the middle. And I will identify these cards for you so we know what we're working with together. Okay, so let me first go through the cards. Of course, we have the man in the center. We've got rider, mice, fox, fish, man, dog, moon, tower house so we're asking if this man uh, that's in her life will be staying she uh, met him the, the back story will be that she met him a month or two ago he's new to her she's in love with him doesn't know a lot about him but uh, he seems very charming and engaging and, and she's considering will this be like a life partnership okay so let's read these Not together to make this easy for you I want you to think of it out of the nine card structure Think first, we've got three cards here at the top. And how would you read these cards answering the question? So I want you to start writing down in a little journal or book what each of these three cards uh, series means to you. So we've got rider, mice, and fox. A rider can be a man coming through, someone that's new. Uh, it could be also things like messages. So this could be a message about the man or the man riding through. Mice is something that thieves or takes away from this. And fox is something sneaky or devious, cunning, smart, manipulative. Sometimes fox is good, sometimes fox is bad. It depends what it's next to. Here it's next to the mice, not good. So the first message we get about this particular man is uh, passing through. Not going to be <laughs> such a good passing through. And there could be some ma manipulation going on here. So that is like our first three card reading. Let's see what else it has to say. Money or abundance, man, friend. 
so dog. So we've got the fish is money or abundance, so he may have a lot of money. He may also seem very abundant. He may appear like he's got it all. So this, this, uh, he, the charm and, and what he's got uh, of this man may seem very loyal, good friend. So she may be able to corroborate this. So that's the second thing. They seem quite the opposite from each other, don't they? Well, let's see what happens when we go a little further. Take it down to the bottom one, moon tower house. So the way this man is seen, tower can be something like uh, business-like, it can uh, house his home, but tower can also be someone who looks down on others or is controlling. Think of the person up in the tower or is very uh, more a solitary type person. And house may have some importance here. So the and also this can the moon can mean it's kind of a psychic impression so you may want to ask your client do you have this kind of gut feeling that he's kind of solitary does he keep his home to himself because this means to yourself or could it be that he is known for being solitary um, a homebody because this is kind of near the dog okay now so I'm starting my first card of interaction because it's near the dog uh, it could be that he's loyal to his home. We'll get to that later. But see what, how many meanings you can get now out of these three. I have a three. video on multiple ways to get meanings, many, many meanings. I have just two cards and I, I would ask that you go back and check that. I have a notebook out in that video and some activities. Those are the types of things you can do when you get a reading like this that may not seem quite so clear as, say, this top one. Okay, so those are our three rows. Okay, so we've just approached three three card readings now let's go this way you've got three more three card readings you've got that same rider the same fish and the same moon but now they engage a little differently so we've got messages we've got abundance or man the man riding through a lot of money and moon is this is how uh, he has seen at face value this is his reputation so the person coming in seems to be a very wants to be known or is known as someone that has quite a lot of resources. Same thing here, if we look at just the middle one, we've now got mice, that's thieving, thievering, man. Now remember, this is a negative card, and this could be the business card, the tower, or it could be isolation. It could actually even mean both. So the thieving man is actually isolated. The thieving man is controlling. The thieving man is in business. Okay, these types of things may may uh, describe him. But remember, her question is about the relationship. How does him being in business or how does him being Relate solitary to their relationship? It goes back to the question. Always bring it back to the question. So even though this talks about his resources and she's asking about is he good for her, we're seeing the goods and the bads, the pros and the cons about how this would relate to her world. So this seems good. He may have a lot of money. This seems bad. He may not have a lot of time. He's spending a lot of, of uh, time, perhaps, in the corporate world. The payoffs may be good, but in terms of time, the payoffs may be bad. All right, so we've got fox, dog, and house. Fox is a manipulative person, like we talked about. Next to this card, it was not good, but it also is someone cunning and shrewd. There's our dog card, and that's loyalty friend and there's house and so we've got here a fox dog house um, a shrewd friend is stable or close it could be a manipulative because it's near the mice Man manipulative friend uh, is um, feeling close to her near her home these two cards and this card are all job cards the way I define them fox fish. So this is a really talent. hard working guy when you just pick out the cards in the spread that have to do with work. The really only negative card we see here is this top one when we look at the mice. And mice take away from things. So it, it, it may be taking, um, pulling the energy out of the cards around it. Now those first three card spreads kind of give you the mood and that should be the way you start your nine card readings. Now add this to it. When you do tarot readings, when you do Lenormand readings, left to right, depending on the system you use, can be the flow of time. Okay? So the center, where the significator lands, let's say in the grand tableau, this is our present. So this whole center spread is our now. 
This could be recent past energy that's pulling into the now. This is, could be the coming near future that's being pushed by these three cards right here. So you've also got a flow of time. Later, when you start working more, you can start doing fancy things. There's a lot of different interactions in here that we're not addressing right now. But without doing a lot of readings, you've got corner cards that can talk to each other. You've got corresponding or mirroring opposite cards. These two and these two you can read together. Read rows of diagonal this way, left to right. Read diagonals this way, left to right. The reputation of this man is shrewd. The messages or the riding through man is uh, close to home. You also can read things like knighting. In my future nine card reading spreads talk about that where you take say your starting card and you go two cards down and one to the right. These two cards are then read together. You can go this way. One two cards and one to the right. These are read together. So he's loyal. Then you can take, say, and, and it actually knights the same way if you go one and then two over. So you can do this with any of the cards. You can, except the center one won't knight because of the position. But if you were to take, say, the moon, you can say he's known as being loyal. If you go this way, boom, boom, boom. But he's also known as uh, not being there. Some things, uh, you know, taking, he's known as taking. So it looks like this is a very shrewd business person who has his loyalties, but it also looks like he has loyal loyalties to business. Um, while he's loyal to home, it looks like there may not be a lot of time, because if we knight home, we land with mice, and there's not a lot of time for home. Okay, And that's the kind of, you can start going through more flow of things with a nine card reading, but really the basics is get yourself used to these three card flows, these three card flows and then that's kind of where you get going and then you can start looking at some of the other things that engage. I have more spreads on nine cards that will help you but I hope this gives you the baby so starts. This gives you the confidence where if you feel comfortable doing say just a three card reading that you can take that pull it into your nine cards and start jumping off that point. Your grant a blow later will be made by many 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 of these. So you go to, say, the heart card, any place in the grand tableau that you're looking for, the man card, the woman card, whatever topic you're looking for. If someone says, tell me about love, you look through the whole grand tableau, and you find that heart card, and then you look at the cards that box it in. There you have a nine card spread right in that grand tableau, and you can start reading it the same way we just did. Three cards this way, three cards this way. You can look at all this whole nine card spread, this way, this way, you can start knighting it with things that even go outside of it, and you can start uh, toying with the same kind of techniques. If someone asks about a partnership, you can do that. There's all different kinds of cards you can use for different topics. If someone wants to know about a book they're writing, that can go right in the center. All these are already laid out in the grand tableau for you, so all you have to do is look for the card see who its friends are around here or enemies depending if it's a good or bad card and go with your reading okay I hope this helps take good notes see how they all pull together if things conflict remember people are made of paradoxes so here we also have uh, this loyal guy but he seems to be also very loyal more loyal I should say to his money or job than he is to his home. Loves his home, but it looks like he may have some loyalty to it, uh, to this job, so that takes away from his home. So good luck in your nine card readings, and I'd like to hear how your experience goes.